Hello. Hello, good evening. It's always a pleasure to speak to my good friend and fellow broadcast professional, Alan Combs. You know, Alan, I'm very glad that you're having this critique clinic. I just finished my program, The Right Perspective, and by the way, we're coming up on our anniversary program next week. Perhaps you'd like to call how many, in. Uh, how many years is it? Uh, three years. Fantastic. And I know you'll want to call in at one eight six. I don't know about that, but uh, go ahead. Wish me a congratulations. And I have to tell you, Alan, I've been comparing your program, if you could call it a program, with my program. And basically, it's like yours is like comparing a broken down Model T to a Ferrari Testarossa. Uh -huh. You need a lot of work, Alan. Right now, as a three-year veteran of the business, broadcast right, professional. Perhaps you can educate me about how to become a broadcaster in your mold and achieve the heights you have achieved. Maybe you can educate me about that and bring me along to the pinnacle of the profession where you are. Well, first I'm sure we're on shortwave radio. Go ahead. Well, and on the internet at trp.orn.com. Yeah. Yeah. You never mention them on the internet. I'm heard all over the world now. I get people listening on the internet all over the world. They said, where have you been? I can't believe that I've never heard you. Well, why don't you tell me how I can achieve the heights as you have, Frank? Well, the first thing you've got to do, Alan, you know, I have a call-in program, so just like you, well, not like nothing is like yours, and I'm ashamed, but it would be a shame. Well, you're not answering my question. How can I uh, well, the first, be like, how can I be as good as you are? Well, the first thing you've got to do, Alan, is you've got to mix your callers. I notice whenever I call in, I hear the same tired pathetic losers one after another you just had this this turned elmo on you you every night the same cast and characters i mean that shows that your program is spinning its wheels it's not going anywhere you're not getting to anybody you're not reaching out people are not either a they're not aware of you or b they hear you and they're so turned off by the hate and the vitriol that they hear on this show. Your show has basically become a Nuremberg rally for Bush bashers yes, and Christian haters. The lowest of the low, the most it's very, it's of the low. Very and I'll tell you what you can do to change. Yeah, go ahead. You know, I'm good friends with Sam Greenfield. We email each other all the time. Now, Sam is just uh, ignorant. I mean, he's <laughs> just ignorant and basically ignorant and stupid. He doesn't know too much. This is your friend who you just talked well, to. That's why we're friends, because I can speak honestly about him, and he knows what I'm saying is coming from the heart, and it's meant to help him. Yeah, because you like having ignorant and stupid friends. Well, I'm there to, I'm not there to berate. I'm there to educate. Just no, you wouldn't do. berate him because you, you didn't just do that, did you? No, I didn't. I said, right. No, because we're friends. Right. Now, but you, Alan, you see, people don't understand something about you. You are pure evil. <laughs> you understand? Sam is just ignorant and stupid, but you are pure evil. But I'm pure evil, okay. You know, you see, I see the evil that, that and, drips and from you. What makes me evil, Frank? The vitriol that you have for George Bush. When I hear remarks on your program and you don't counter it that he stole the election, like, Alan, that is no different than the Nazi myth of the stab and Let me ask you a question. If Al Gore had won, would you have said that he stole the election? I, no, I would not. You would not have said that. I would not no. have said that. I'm not like you. I'm not and were you uh, did you spend time on your show the last few years attacking Bill Clinton? Criticizing him. Oh, I see. Well, that's, see, criticism. How is that different than attacking? Because attacking, Alan, is the irrationality and vitriol that comes out on your nerves. What, 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 what are some of the names you call Bill Clinton? Excuse me? What are some of the names you call Bill Clinton? Roper and Chief. I see. That's not that's a that's a criticism. That's not an attack. I think that's a wonderfully rich. What are some of the names you call? Wonderfully rich. To what are some of the names you call Hillary? Excuse me. What are some of the names you call Hillary? Rod Dam Clinton. I see. That's, that's wonderfully rich satiricism. I see. Huh. Alan, Alan, that's, Alan, not, Alan, that's not an attack, right? No, no, Alan. Because unlike I you, see. I am an electronic journalist. I, oh, you're a journalist. I'm an electronic uh, journalist. I'm dispensing wisdom, opinion, fact. People flock to listen to me. I know for a fact that the Arbitrons in your first hour, which is my last hour, 11 or 12 is your first, it's my last, are absolutely nothing because people are listening well, to me. They don't want true. to listen to you. You've that's got to true. change, Alan. That's not true. Now, that's true. I have a great idea to help you. Yeah, what's that? We're going to do an 11 or 12 hookup between your program and the right perspective on the Omega Radio Network. You think so, huh? Yes. What, and by the way, 
You've got to get rid of this cheap jack number that you have. On our program, we have an 800 number. I don't want it. I want you to pay to call me, and I'm glad you did. I'm glad you're spending money to talk to me right now. And this is why you seem to get the same... It, no, not at all. In fact, in, in fact, with an 800 number, losers and parents. No, with an 800 you number, know. you get a bunch of losers who call for free. Uh, I want people actually to not, spend money to call me. They're not losers, Alan. Yeah. You have these people that they're cheapness people, and people, Alan. If I said tomorrow night, I no longer have an 800 number, people would still be calling. But with you, it's like you're bargain basement. No, it's not true. Bargain basement. No, it's, it's like a, a $10 book It's actually the. It's actually I'll spend a couple of cheap. The, you know, it's like people it's, don't feel they get their money. It's actually the 800 number. When people, when people have to pay to call you, uh, you get a better quality caller. But uh, listen, uh, this, this call is uh, not, uh, not included. But why don't we, uh, when are we going to do a, a get-together and do the cross show? What are uh, we going to do a start, simulcast start, challenge? Uh, I'm going to give you a chance uh, to improve. I want you to right. sit at the feet of the right, man. Uh, you, know, you want to know when we're going to do it? Yes. Take a deep breath and hold it.